This video is going to be on how to find a hole in the graph of a rational function. A hole is a special situation that occurs. It doesn't occur all the time, but when it does occur, um, we need to know how to put it onto the graph and we need to know how to identify it. Uh, a hole is a part of the graph that actually the graph cannot equal, um, but it's not a vertical asymptote or a horizontal asymptote. It's just a point where the graph kind of jumps over uh, this value because it would cause you to divide by zero in the original function. So let's take a look at an example. Uh, let's go with uh, y equals. Uh, 2x squared plus x minus 1 over uh, x plus 1. Uh, so normally, uh, if you were to look at this uh, and somebody said, hey, what is, does this have a vertical asymptote? Right? Does this function have a vertical asymptote? and I'm going to abbreviate have a vertical asymptote, right? One might say, sure, yeah, it does, right? At x equals negative 1, because that's the value that would cause the denominator to equal 0. But one of the things you want to ask is, first off, uh, did I factor, right? Because if you factor this and things reduce, then it won't have a vertical asymptote at x equals negative 1. It actually will have what we call a hole. So uh, let's go ahead and factor this, y equals. And then to factor this guy, you got to be careful. It's going to have a 2x in one parentheses, then an x in another. And what multiplies to negative 1? Uh, well, 1 and negative 1. Uh, but it needs to add to 2, or add to 1 after I FOIL. So that would be plus 1 and negative 1 there, all over x plus 1. So as you take a look at this, uh, we can see that x plus 1 and x plus 1 are both on the numerator and denominator. Therefore, they divide and they can go away. They reduce. And so we would be left with y equals 2x minus 1. Now, if you were to put this into your calculator, you literally, in your graphing calculator, you would see the graphing calculator would graph uh, this guy right here. And you would see a line at y equals 2x minus 1. That's exactly what you'd see. Uh, the only problem is, is in your table, you would notice uh, that it says that the x value of negative 1, it would say there's some kind of error. And what that means is that instead of being a vertical asymptote, because it's not there anymore, uh, instead you have a hole. Uh, and the way that you can find the coordinates of the hole, uh, the hole is going to be a point. The way that you can find the coordinates of the hole is you take the x value where the hole's at and you plug it into the reduced function. So negative 1 goes in, 2 times negative 1 is negative 2, minus 1 is negative 3. So what we're saying is that for this function uh, that we started with, this guy, it has a hole in the graph at negative 1, negative 3. And uh, the way you can graph that, I'll give you an example here. Uh, in the next one. Oh, whoops. Oh, let's get back to that. All right. So uh, let's take, for example, uh, a function. Uh, <clears throat> we'll just go with y equals x squared minus 4 over x plus 2. So once again, uh, make sure you factor first to see if x plus 2 really will give you the vertical asymptote or if it will uh, reduce and give you a hole. So y equals and the numerator factors to x plus 2, x minus 2, all over x plus 2. And we would all agree that the x plus 2s reduce. So since the x plus 2s reduce, the value that would make the bottom equal 0 is x equals negative 2. And instead of it being a vertical asymptote, that is the x value of your hole. And to find the 
y value of your hole, you want to look at the reduced function. So the reduced function, I'm going to write it up here, is y equals x minus 2. This is the reduced function. Uh, and take negative 2 and plug it in. And so negative 2 minus 2 is negative 4. So your hole is right here at negative 2, negative 4. And I would plot that on my graph by finding negative 2, negative 4 and actually putting an open circle. The rest of the graph you could let your calculator if your teacher lets you do that. Uh, but in this case it's just a line. So uh, it would have uh, y-intercept at negative 2 and then the slope is 1 so we'd move up 1 over 1 and so it would just be a straight line but when you get to the hole jump over it and then keep the graph going the way that it should sorry my graphs a little nasty looking kinda hard to write with this thing uh, but uh, that is how you would graph a hole and that's also how you would find a hole for a rational function alright have a good day